Baron Bishop Blade Reviews channel here, June 23rd, 2012, with an account update. Uh, it's been a while since we posted a video. I apologize. Uh, I don't really have any excuses to give you. I just got sidetracked with other things in life that happens to all of us. But uh, this is an account update and also just kind of a philosophy video. I'm going to try to keep it kind of short. I don't really want to drag it out or anything. But uh, just some things going on in life right now. Still working my job. Uh, about to start the apprenticeship program, which is some good news. Um, I got married a little over a month ago, so I'm really happy about that. It's been great so far, and I'm just enjoying life with my wife now. So things are things are going pretty well for me. Uh, but now into the philosophy part. Uh, June eighth. I'm sorry, June 9th, I went to Blade Show with my father. It was the first time I went to Blade Show ever, and it was amazing. If you've never been, you really should check it out next year. It's amazing. Words can't do it justice. Uh, you get to meet all kinds of amazing people there and see knives that, well, you, maybe you haven't dreamed of, but, like, just, it's amazing. I was just... Like, literally, for 10 minutes or so after I got there, I couldn't stop shaking. Like, I was that excited about it. But uh, when I was there, I met some really cool people. A uh, few YouTubers, actually, I... Uh, Shoutouts. That's the other part of the video I was going to do. Sorry, I'm all over the place. I worked this morning. Uh, Shoutouts to the people from YouTube I met there and a few others who I didn't meet that were there. Um, I met a gentleman by the name of Kirk Mosley. Some of you know him from his new YouTube channel, Kirk Mosley. Uh, some of you know him as, well, knew him as Tulian Disciple or Apophysis 7. Um, he is doing a, cha a new channel now called Kirk Mosley. And uh, it's fresh out. I think he's got like 650 on his subscribers right now, which compared to our 14 or 15 is outstanding, but he had a lot more, and he's trying to get it back up, and he could use some support from you guys. He's a really cool guy when I met him. I didn't get to talk to him much. Uh, Kirk, if you watch this, I apologize, because I know I, that I was just awkward as hell when I met you, because I walked up. He was at the Microtech booth, which those of you that know his videos shouldn't, wouldn't be surprised at that. But uh, he was standing at the Microtech booth, and I walked up and asked if he was Apophysis 7 from YouTube, and he said that he was. And I was, after he said that, I was just kind of like, I just kind of froze. I got quiet. I was like, uh, what's up? Yeah, that's what I did. Just because for me, I mean, I had never gone up to a person and been like, hey, I know you from the Internet. You know, it's, it was just a weird thing for me, but he didn't, like, seem too creeped out by me or anything, and, uh, yeah, so I'm just wanting to get his new channel out there. Sorry, he zoned out again. I uh, wanted to get the word about his new channel out there to you guys. He's a really cool guy, down to earth, speaks his mind, so some of you may not like what he has to say, but I... Whether I agree with what he says or not is irrelevant. I just appreciate and respect the fact that he has the balls to, you know, get out there and say what he believes and not censor himself for it. You know, not enough people do that. So, Kurt, you're awesome. Hopefully this video will help. Probably not a whole lot, but, you know, every little bit counts. Other people I met, well, other guy I met, I only met one other YouTuber, uh, Gavco, which was a big deal for me. Gavco is the man... For those of you that don't know him, he uh, he makes a lot of great knives and has a few uh, reviews up on some products and everything and some testing and everything. And uh, I met him, which I was a little less of an awkward little creeper when I met him just because I know Gavco a little better through his videos. I feel like it at least. I guess it's because I, I was newer to Kirk's videos than I was Gav's, so... But whatever. Either way, his channel's awesome. 
A lot of you probably already know who he is, or may even already be subscribed to his channel, but if you're not already, I recommend it because you will see some cool stuff there. He's a really cool guy, too, really down to earth. Some other people that were there, Jay Davis, who has some amazing like knife test videos, and he's like a sharpening guru. I didn't get to meet him, and I, I, I kind of hate to say it since I'm you know subscribed to his channel and everything, but I subscribed to his channel like a week before Blade, and I was new to his videos, and I wouldn't have recognized him if I saw him. So, sorry. If, if you see this, which I highly doubt all you will, uh, sorry, but I'm a fan of your videos, and I am now a subscriber. Uh, Smoke Eater was there. He's got some cool videos up. I don't really know much about him, but just trying to give shout-outs as I can. Uh, but yeah, the reason why I'm giving so many shout-outs and talking about this is going to Blade Show really made me think about how important the knife community is, the blade community in general. That's why I wanted to make this video. I haven't in a while. And I feel like it's my job as a knife enthusiast, a knife collector, a knife user, a knife hobbyist, a knife addict to support the community. You know, even though it's an incredibly popular thing, us knife guys and knife girls, for those of you out there, face a lot of scrutiny from the media and other people like that because we like the sharp, scary things that we can carry in our pockets and stab people with. Let me say this. Of everyone that I've ever known that was in the knives, not one person has ever stabbed somebody that I know of. We're just, we just like what we like, and unfortunately... That's kind of looked down on by a bunch of people. It's kind of like the guns for me. I'm into both, and I get it from both ends. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so just think about that, knife people of YouTube. And I see a lot of comments on people's channels, a lot of really rude stuff. And really, we're all on the same page here, so Blade... World, Blade World, knife enthusiasts, collectors, users, hobbyists, all of you. We're all on the same page. We're a big knife-loving family. So, I don't know. There's something to think about, I guess. It was just kind of on my mind, so I wanted to do this little video. Well, anyway, I think my timer's about run out, but it was nice making a video again. I'm probably going to make some more, but inside, because it is hot right now. And I'm probably squinting. I can't see myself too much because of the glare and the fact that my computer screen is filled. So, uh, thanks for watching all of you that did. Uh, I forgot what I used to say at the end of videos, so uh, take care, everybody.